Hi, Cornelia. Hello, how are you? Thank you so much for coming and supporting this wonderful event. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. It's such a great event and all the work that you're doing. Thank you. We're here with Cornelia Guest. Hello. And isn't she lovely? And she just, you just did this campaign for PETA. I just did. And I'd rather go naked than I'd rather go naked. I would. And, and I, so I'm really enlisting all my friends. This is St. John. George Sharp did this for me. I said, no fur, you've got to do big fur. And I, it's very important. It's very dear to my heart. I think it's important that we just give people an intelligent alternative and educate them because once they know that they can get a pretty big fur collar, if they start asking Dolce, if they start asking Michael Kors, all these people and the demand rises, they understand they can have a beautiful piece of big fur, I think the tide will change. And that's my wish. I think that's wonderful. Thank you. And you actually you weren't always vegan, so no, you had not. a bunch of fur coats. I did, and I gave them all to PETA. And this is everything this, that you've done? No, well, these aren't all mine. Not all of yours, yeah. but, but some and of them. And my mother's, yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. And they're going to recycle them and Yep, and they're going to go, we're going to do a big drive for the homeless shelters. And we're asking people to send their leather jackets, their leather coats, everything. So, so how long have you been vegan? Um, vegan vegetarian about six, seven years. And have you found it a process, or did you sort of go... I, I never was a big meat eater, so it was easy for me. Yeah. But, you know, you have to... I always say to people, don't listen to me, listen to your body. Your body's going to tell you what you need, what you like. I was laughing at someone the other day. I was running. I said, I said, you I've been craving these spirulina chips. Yeah. And um, organic, I mean, this is the only person that craves spirulina chips. And, you know, you learn. You have to listen to what your body eats. I love nuts. I love nuts. You know, I, we all eat different things to make it work for us. So I think that's important. You can acclimate and find different yeah. foods. And your body tells you. So it's fun. It's interesting. It's a good education. It is. It is. It's a process. And we have some great food today. Oh, catered Blossom by, is the best. It was all catered by fantastic. Blossom. Yep. So I have a handbag line. I do. This is one of my bags, and it's cruelty free. They're gorgeous. And it's at Bloomingdale's and Bloomingdale's.com. Thank you. Now, what is it made out of? Because people out of, don't understand. It's like, made out of PVC. PVC. And I really try to use the cruelty aspect of it. I say it's cruelty free. And that's what I think is important to people understand. Right, right. And I think when you have gorgeous things like this, you know, you realize that it's you an don't intelligent like alternative. Stay. You don't need it. You don't need it. Yeah. So that's my mission to give people an intelligent alternative to realize they don't need it.